Hello guys and welcome to another review. This time it's not a bag, it's an hotel. In fact it's the Castillo de Son Hotel in Puerto Rico, Gran Canaria. We're standing here outside the entrance, who are right here. So let's go and check it out and see what you think. If you're going here, I suggest you bring a comfortable pair of shoes because there are 165 steps up to this place where I'm standing from the shopping mall downstairs. So, and that's not including the 14 steps there are after the entrance here, but there are there is an elevator over there. So you can take that one for the last 14 steps if you are tired. So let's go and see what we can see in the hotel. Follow me. <laughs> Here we have the nice pool area with a bar, pool bar, that have pizza and hamburgers and ice cream and beer and soda and so on. There are quite many sun chairs here so you can, you can relax all day in the sun. And the sun is here from about 10 o'clock local time until it goes down. So the pool is a good size with a kiddie pool over there so you can, your children are safe and it's two meters deep here and about one meter deep over there. I have a pool table so you can play pool to do that. It's a uh, bathroom and showers down here for the pool area and I have entertainment at night. The only problem is if you have the apartments over here and over there you can see the problem the pool area here and if you don't like the music you're gonna be sad so I would recommend that you book a hotel room or a room here quite high up because if you have one have somebody above you then you have the problem of people moving furniture or chairs it's very you hear it very clearly when somebody moves a chair or something in the floor above you so quite high up is a good choice then it's about seven floors up and you should have it's better that you have uh, high up and if you want peace and quiet from the pool bar I suggest you go the half hotel and at the left so if you're like us we have seven kids so we are like peace, peace and quiet that's not a good choice now Let's go check out the reception. It's a big and open area here. It's really big. You can see here, it's a kind of lounge, something like that. I don't know why they have this here. And it's quite open, you can see, and it's a lot of pigeon shit on the roof there, because they have pigeons, and that is because it's all open. A lot of seats here, and I never see anybody sitting here. So, I don't know why they have it. <sighs> I 
ping pong table. There's some chairs. I don't see the point of this. I don't know. The stuff in the receptions are nice, but they don't have any anything you can borrow. So a lot of people are complaining about they don't have a water boiler in the room or can make coffee or something like that. You have to pay extra for that. So now let's take the elevator up to the room. see here it's eight floors <clears throat> because they they count the ground floor and I only count the floor so it's eight floors if you want to be peace and quiet you should live in the eighth floor not in the seventh as I said before <clears throat> here I think we have a problem because I don't feel that this is safe but seems to be holding it's a quite dark here when you come late at night and it took, <laughs> took uh, us a couple of days to find this this light switch here that turns on the lights in the roof so the cleaning is done almost every day so i think five times a week they make your bed and they wipe the floors and it's they are really good. The cleaning here is really fine. No problem. So now let's go and see how our room are. Your should. Table with four chairs. Kitchen with a stove and two plates. Not a lot of cookware, have a free of everything approximately. So a microwave. Good size fridge for all your beer or whatever you want to have in here. We have not a lot of beer. Eggs. Bedroom for two people. And uh, it's not a double bed, so if you're in the middle of night, you're rolling over, then you will fall right down in the floor and the beds are just going apart. <clears throat> now, if you have like I have, <clears throat> sleep apnea, and you need an outlet by the bed, you need to forget about that and bring your cords. Because there are no outlets in this bedroom at all. So if you need outlets for anything at all, there are no. So I had to go down to a Chinese shop down the, in the shopping center and buy two cords. Because in the reception they have none to, that you can borrow. So I had to pull the cord from my machine all the way to this outlet by the table in the kitchen. Or I can go in here, and this is surprising, in the bathroom, behind the door is one also. And that's about it for outlets, there are two, except for this one over here. So you can use your water boiler. There are no coffee machines or something like that, so you have to bring your own or <clears throat> and here are, well, espresso. The problem is when you're taking a shower in this 
very nice bathroom. The water is going out here and going all the way round and stopping here. And if you shower a long time, like I did yesterday, the water will run here, here, and all out the door. If you don't stop it, it will go out the door and into the kitchen. <clears throat> you have a nice big TV. No, it's, it's the size of a stamp, something like that. On the outside you have, so you can hang your bathing clothes or something, table, free chairs. Uh, it's a good size balcony for, yeah. And a nice pool view here. As I said before, the problem is the pool bar when it's very loud and I, you don't here to party. You're here to relax, then you going to hear that all night. And down there is the shopping center. You can see it down there. There is a discotheque that, well, they play it about four or five in the morning local time. So, and there is a Chinese wok down on the walk path here. So fatty foods I've never eaten like I feel really bad after that food. So and the ocean. I don't have the ocean view here, but it's behind that building. So if you have a room on a higher floor, you will have ocean view. And if your travel agent say, say you will choose from morning sun or evening sun. Well, don't make any choice because you can't turn the hotel around. You can see on the other side of the mountain the morning sun is coming up because it's uh, about 8 o'clock here local time. So you can't have morning sun here unless you move the hotel in the morning and move it in the evening. So you have sun all afternoon from, well, 11 o'clock, stuff like that. It comes earlier down the pool, so if you want early sun, you go down to the pool. Well, that's about it. You can make your own choice if you want to come here or not. But I think it's very funny that I don't have outlets by the bed because every hotel in Europe have that for one reason or another. So, that is my honest review of this hotel. Uh, I would give it a... It has a three star rating. I think... Uh, I think I'm gonna get it a three star because it deserves it. The cleaning is very good and they are very polite and they they mop the floor every time they clean, and it's very clean. Cleaner here than at home, than home. So it's always fresh, fresh or something like that. that one thing I'm missing is uh, so you can do your dishes because they are free of everything, approximately free forks, free knives, and so on, free, free plates, free glasses. So you have to do it, but they only. If you put the dishes in the sink, they only fill it with water and dish washing, so you have to do it yourself. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. So see you in the next video and keep the faith.